Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make Cadbury Cherry Ripe. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Every episode, I ask you to let me know if there's something you'd like me to make, and I've gotten some great suggestions. Tonight's recipe fits that mold to a T. Last week, our compadre Patricia asked if I could make Cadbury's Cherry Ripe Candy Bars. I'd never heard of them before, so I did a little research, and boy am I glad I did. They're made in Australia, and are a combination of chocolate, cherry, and coconut. That is one of my absolute favorite flavor combinations, so I'm really excited to see if we can make this work. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own cherry ripe bars, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used one half cup of maraschino cherries, one and a half cups of sweetened coconut, one quarter cup of sweetened condensed milk, one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half cups of chocolate, and some red food coloring. I also used a blender, a bowl, a spatula, a six by six baking pan, some parchment, a cutting board, and a couple of precision dipping tools. Okay, let's make some candy. Line the baking pan and set it aside. Chop a couple of cherries and set them aside. Blend the remaining cherries, coconut, sweetened condensed milk, and vanilla. Blend in as much coloring as you'd like. Transfer the mixture to a bowl and fold in the chopped cherries. Transfer the mixture to a baking pan and freeze it until it's set. I let mine set overnight. Cut the filling into bars. Melt or temper the chocolate. Dip a bar into the chocolate, let the excess drain, and place it on a lined cutting board. Repeat with the remaining bars, then leave them on the counter to set. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. Slant va. Oh, Patricia, thank you for the recommendation. This is going on my favorites list. It's snappy and creamy and chewy, and these flavors just work so well together. I will say, though, that if I ever make this again, I'll add a quarter teaspoon of cherry extract but that's only because I'm a cherry fiend. Most of you will probably be okay with this as is. If you want the great flavors of a cherry ripe, but don't have a trip to Australia on your itinerary, you really ought to try these. They're made in Australia and are combination of cocoa. I will say so, say so, say so. Don't have a trip to Australia on your itinerary. Australia? My British? ch 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 cherry ripe.